Welcome to Liquid Gym Water Wednesdays, where every Wednesday we go over important topics related to water filtration. Now, this is our first uh, video out, so please feel free to leave your comments and feedback so we can really improve the, the videos which are going to come in the future. Now, this is a very special video. Uh, we're going to be installing our antioxidant uh, pH mineral filter. So this is uh, made in our facility here in California. It's basically a mix of pH alkaline to boost the pH levels in your water, followed by a negative or P uh, media, which is oxidation reduction potential, infrared, tourmaline. Um, negative ORP is, is very important for optimal water, and it's ended with a patent media made by uh, KDF. It's a patent copper zinc media, which helps remove uh, bacteria, heavy metals, and uh, many more impurities. So this, this filter comes with a complete kit. So it comes with the post inline taste and odor uh, carbon filter. So it's an activated coconut carbon shell um, cartridge. Now, it's really important if you're using alkaline or mineral filters, make sure to add a inline carbon so the taste um, tastes really great. Now, this filter comes with all the parts and fittings you need to install it to your existing RO or a refrigerator. So these are the two and a, two and a half by two inch clips, um, two inch by two inch clips, a T to your storage tank, 90 degree fittings to connect to your filters. Now all these fittings uh, come pre-applied with Teflon tape, just in case we give you an extra mini roll of Teflon tape. Now it also comes with white tubing, four feet, and comes with a installation guide which goes into detail on the various benefits of the filter and um, installation methods. Now we're going to convert uh, this five stage into a super antioxidant uh, water filtration system. So first thing first, you want to switch off the water supply. So from the tank, uh, switch off your tank valve, your incoming supply. Here I'm just going to switch the ball valve off. Uh, whatever your feed water is, switch it off and uh, we're going to remove the old uh, carbon and add uh, the, the, the combo kit uh, by uh, Liquigen. So first thing first, we're going to take our filter and remove the tubing. Now if you notice, if you pull the tubing, it will come out. It's a quick connect fitting, so you have to pinch the collar and the tubing comes out pretty, pretty easily. Now you want to do that to all the incoming and outgoing um, inlets to your post carbon filter. So to the storage tank, same process, usually comes out. And if you go to the back of the unit, you have a auto shut off valve right over here. So you want to remove that as well. So once you get all the tubing out, you don't need it anymore. Take out the your old post polisher, uh, just kind of like toss it in the bin. Now you have your system over here, ready to be installed. First thing first, uh, you're going to remove your pink little locks we give you and flow rate is crucial for proper performance. We've layered the filter in a precise way uh, so the cap side is in. The cap side is where the, the T goes to your storage tank. Now quick note about this, um, if you're using it for a refrigerator, just simply put a 90 degree fitting. You don't need to put uh, the T because you don't have a storage tank. So that's essentially how you put it on the cap side. And the 90 degree, once again, Teflon tape pre-applied, goes over here. And always make sure that your, your, your mineral filter comes before the inline carbon and after the reverse osmosis membrane. So very simple, just clip this on, now it's on. Now, there's a reason we give you clips. Uh, one is just uh, the ease of having, instead of going to your local hardware store, but also our clips always have holes in them, which make it a lot more easier to install and just keeps the tubing in place. So a lot of inferior you know, clips just come without it. That's how we give you the best quality. So we're gonna put the two inch by two inch clips over it. Same process for the inline carbon. You're just gonna remove these and we're gonna put our 90 degree fittings on them. So super simple. Just make sure you'll get to know when the fittings are too tight. Don't tighten it too hard. Um, you'll hear a slight click. So got that in there. Just gonna line it. Yeah, perfect. 
So that's how it is. Once again, uh, flow rate right to left. There's an arrow on the filter along with an arrow on the molded onto the filter. So kind of just get it over here. Get the carbon nicely lined up. Perfect. So just double check all of your fittings to make sure there are no leaks. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to install it from the back now. So coming out of your auto shut off valve, it gets connected into your the inside of your filter here. You're gonna hear a slight click, so I'm just gonna bend the tubing down. Perfect. Now, same concept, it's gonna to go to your storage tank, the blue line, which goes right about here. Awesome. Now, uh, so you can see that there, it's empty over here, it's empty over here. We're just gonna connect them. We give you the tubing, uh, just to make it easier for myself, I have cut a line of tubing. Now, to install the tubing, it's super simple. All you're gonna do is just run it through here. And I'm just gonna leave space here. Now, here's a catch. Whenever you cut RO tubing, you gotta make sure that it's perfectly straight. So, you see, you could use a razor. Right now, I have a, uh, you know, a, a tube cutter but just cut it straight. So whenever you cut it, make sure it's perfectly straight so there's no leaks in the unit. So I just get it in once again, hear that little click sound and you know that the tubing is properly inserted in. Now you have all the inlets in, the only inlet leaving is to your, um, to your reverse osmosis faucet, so moving right to the left, so that is our white line here. And that's about it. it. You know, it shouldn't take you more than a few minutes to install it. Now, just open up your kitchen faucet, uh, your RO faucet, for about two or three minutes. The carbon tends to leave a little bit of residue. After a few minutes, that'll flush out. System is ready to use. Uh, you just converted your basic five-stage RO system into superior to bottled, uh, you know, alkaline, antioxidant uh, water filtration system using natural minerals. So we don't use electrolysis for this. They're natural minerals, uh, super healthy. And yeah, that basically sums up the whole um, installation video. Thank you for taking the time of watching our video. Please leave a comment below of what you guys want to see next. Uh, we have water experts here in California. We're working around the clock to you know, bring great solutions to improve water quality. Uh, check us out at www.liquigen.com. And once again, thank you for your time and have a great day ahead.